Hey guys, IMF Gunplay here, and today we're taking a look at the Origins RTX 65 Gun Tank Early Type. And here's the box. Great box art, as always. Uh, pretty much all of these Origin and the Thunderbolt kits, I love how it's like full artwork completely across the box, where like the high grade kits have, you know, like, a, well, like I don't know, maybe they are full artwork too. But I don't know, to me they just feel like much better like I could put this in a picture frame and put it up my wall and call it a piece of art so yeah but there's that um, here's this side just giving you an overview of the kit and I don't know for some reason I get like an iron giant vibe off of this thing maybe you guys do maybe you don't but yeah there's that there's some more information about it the origin uh, same piece of artwork from the front and then here is some detail work of the kit and I, like I said I've opened this box just to kind of get an overview of what I'm going to be looking at and uh, I, I think this kit just looks amazing um, I would love to see somebody who like does actual like um, armor models you know ground like tanks and stuff see somebody to do this up real good I'm pretty excited about this kit so um, there's that and look, we're upside down. We're right side up. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in here and take a look at what it's going to come with. As always, we will start with the instruction manual. And there it is. There's that same awesome piece of artwork from the front cover. There is the back. Some more information. Rear view, front view, gimmicks, action features, paint. Man, there's a lot of paint added to this. But, yeah, there's that. And, um, yeah, there's your big old reactor sitting on the back there. And then, of course, inside, over here, you got a little bit of a color guide putting it all together. Over here, we've got some more pictures of it, some more details, what's going on. So, there's that. But, uh, let's move on to the, uh, the fruit of our labor. Not really labor, but it will be labor once it's built. Let's move on to the runners. First off, we've got runner A. And almost every single part of this kit is in this gray color. It's a very light, like, almost like a silvery gray. I think it's supposed to be looking like, like a brushed aluminum, like raw aluminum. Like an old, like, World War II, you know, fighter plane or bomber. But, um, yeah, there it is. Let's see, let's see if I remember what all these parts are. This thing here is kind of falling apart. But, um, pretty sure these are parts of the arms. Um, this is the upper body area. I think the head's gonna go in here. Obviously, this is the front. Um, I believe this, all this right here, I believe this is the head right here. Um, I'm thinking the back of the upper body. And then um, these here are the sides of the body. That's where the arms get. Sorry, I didn't realize it's off can't, um, frame. The arms are gonna go into here. And then this is, I think this all is pretty much the upper body. Like these two halves are going to go together. Then these are going to snap on like the square cut out there is going to go into here. So this is all like the upper body. Because here's the other side of the arms. And then here, these two things here, these are like the smoke um, dispensers. And then here are some head pieces. We've got, uh, I think this is like that crest. Then you've got like some antennas. And then just a small dome for the other side. So there's runner A. And of course, after A comes B. And this is the lower half of the uh, gun tank. Then you've got the bottom. Which, you know, they didn't have to put any detail in there. But they did. And I remember somebody almost unboxing this. And said these were intakes. But I'm not calling him say he's wrong. But it doesn't seem practical to put intakes under the tank. Where it's going to suck up debris, dust, and you know shrapnel and destroy it i think these are more like exhaust then again on the uh, original gun tank he had thrusters in the bottom of him so he could you know kind of float around in space i kind of wonder if that's what these are for maybe like you know in space it could you know move around like on the outside of a battleship or something or a spaceship I mean, that's just my that it just might just be exhaust from the reactor but then um here's the top part of the tank shell what's really cool about it is like these vents, I don't know if you can see it, but like, you can, they're like, they're cut out. You can literally see through them, which is awesome. 
Um, here's where the top of the you know upper body is going to go. It does have an opening well, opening hatch. Uh, see, that's it right here. I'm not sure if it actually like locks in there or if you kind of have to you know manipulate it yourself to get it to open and close. But it does open and close. Um, this I believe goes in the back of the tank. It covers up the rear exhaust. Uh, we've got the three barrel machine gun. Um, I think this is supposed to be some kind of an optic sensor. And then we've got the um, inner halves of the uh, tank treads. And then all the outside, you know, all the the gears and the wheels and the treads and all that attach to that. And then this is the back of the tank. This is the front. And then this is the little piece that's going to sit in here. And that's going to allow the top of it to connect to it. So, and I bet you there's, it looks like, yeah, some kind of a poly cap going inside that, I believe. So, uh, there is the B runner. Here is the C runner, and we do have two of these, but um, these are pretty much all of our um, uh, running gear, pretty much. I guess, you, I guess you could call it the running gear. Kind of like a little suspension part here. I think this, no, I'm sorry, this is what's going to allow the treads to kind of pull away and move away, flex around the body. Um, we've got these, and we've got all the road wheels, and some smaller ones, and then over here, I think these two things, the, some of, most of this is the piston work for the uh, main guns, which is another one of my favorite things is when you move the main guns, these little pistons will move in and out with it. And then here is the outer part of the arm where the machine guns are going to go, which um, they were actually molded in a different color, which is very nice. But um, see that very nice, like just it looks really good. So you can see it kind of almost separated from there, like they've been molded and slid together. And then I believe this will connect to that. And then I'm guessing this will probably be a poly cap in the uh, main hand that we saw earlier. So, um, I know these right here, these little lift hooks. I think that's for the front and those will go in the back. And I'm not 100% sure where this one's going to go. But these here, these are definitely the pistons. So, like I said, we got two of those. So, let's move on. And I believe we've got two of these runners. Let me check. Yes, yes we do. Two of these. But we've got, so we have one, we'll have one extra, re go away here, it's my dog's hair. Um, we will have an extra reactor, it only uses one, so you will have a spare reactor. Um, this is all parts of the gun, more parts of the gun. Um, here are your gun barrels, and like I said, very nicely detailed, and they are a different color than the arms, which makes it look, you know, good. Uh, and then surprisingly enough, we have one solid barrel. It's not split, you know, in half. So you got these two halves and then that. So there will be no seam line. I mean, that will be like from here to here, but you get to say it's a um, panel lining detail. And I believe this is also part of the gun. And then over here we have, uh, I'm not really sure what these are gonna be, but we got these parts here. I'm thinking probably part of the gun. And then um, here are the treads. Which get sandwiched together kind of oddly. So they will be kind of. Man, maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe he's got, you know, two treads working side to side. I don't know. We'll see how it looks like in the finished product. That, I mean, obviously, they wouldn't put a seam line in the tank treads that weren't supposed to be there. Because that would be hell trying to um, clean that up. But yeah, we've got two of these, the D runners. And then now we've got E1, which is the upper arm, kind of the canvas cover, which looks really good, I think. Um, I mean, it will be there will be some um, seam lines, but the kind of way they get around it is, oh, that's what that little gray piece was. I didn't know what it's for. It's like this kind of armor plate going right here. That's what that's for. But um, yeah, they kind of use that armor plate to cover up some of the seam lines. So you'll have like one here and then, of course, one right there. But they're so small and they're pretty much smooth, so that won't be too hard to remove. And then, of course, you've got these, which will be sandwiched in here. Uh, there'll be a poly cap in there that allow the, the arm to go up and down, and this will allow it to twist, you know, forward and backwards. But that is what the I guess technically the shoulder joint. 
And uh, of course, can't have a kit without poly caps. And here are the poly caps. Not many, but there's enough. And then last but not least, we have some stickers and decals. Oh, we also have the visor. I believe it goes like that. So there's that. And then we have a sticker sheet of pretty much different model numbers or uh, serial numbers of different tanks. And if for some reason only the um, left arm has one of these on there. I guess it's like a color stripe to identify which company it's with maybe. And then not many but there's a few little warning decals there. But that will be it for the gun tank early type. Hope you guys liked the video. If you have, would you mind leaving that like button down below? Uh, subscribe. I will try to upload two videos a week. Um, between family and work, maybe sometimes less. But I'll try to do an unboxing on Monday and a review on Friday. And here comes the rain. You probably can't hear it, but I can hear it out my window. But um, yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep building and take care.